I did some things in the original mix to the chorus that I think would work really well for us in this mix. We have been talking a little bit about the dynamics between the verse and the chorus. Uh, one way of achieving that is through automating. We could automate the chorus levels up in terms of guitars and bass. I chose to do it in, in a cool way for this particular song. Um, I created some of my own tracks based off of the sounds that were given to me. So there's a, a bass and there's a couple of guitar tracks that I made from their original tracks that I sonically changed. And then I kind of threw those into the chorus sound. And what that's doing is really helping to uh, create big dynamics in the chorus without having to change volume levels. So let's take a look at those tracks. So we'll start with the bass. I've created two separate bass tracks. These are both from the bass amp. I simply just copied and pasted to two new tracks. And then I have two specific types of distortion that I'm adding to my original bass tone that we had in the chorus. So let's take a listen on solo to chorus bass one. Now let's listen to chorus bass two, a very different type of distortion. And together, now let's hear that with the original bass tracks for the chorus. Let's hear leading into the chorus so you can hear the bass sound open up in the chorus a little bit. It's almost as if Duncan, the bass player, is stepping on a pedal. And I'm using the two together because they're very, very different. I'm using the Sans Amp to give me just a, a fair amount of pure distortion. You see I have the drive up really high. And then I'm using this Rectify. It's almost turning the bass sound into a bass synth. So it's scooping out a lot of the low mids and mids, and it's leaving like a sizzle on the top end and some sub sounds. And I think it sounds fantastic together. And it's definitely enhancing my bass sound in the chorus. So I did this, and then I figured that because I made the bass sound pretty big in the chorus, that we better make the guitar sound just as big. Going down to my guitar tracks, you'll notice that there is an inactive chorus fuzz. Now this again is something that I made. So I copied the electric guitar 57, which is from the main track that Steve played live off the floor. And I've added a little bit of the Sans Amp. It's set to a fuzz setting. Let's have a listen. Great, so you can see again, it's almost as if Steve's stepping on a pedal from his main guitar sound, and we're just expanding the sound, and it's really enhancing his main guitar in the chorus. Because they did track it live off the floor, they had to sort of stick with a similar sound throughout the verse to the chorus, and I felt, because we enhanced that bass and we really made it gritty, why not make that main guitar as gritty as the bass? It's just living on the left-hand side, and it does feel as though Steve's stepping on a fuzz pedal, 
and it's enhancing the overall sound of our main guitar only in the choruses. Yeah, the world. 